here welcome back to my youtube channel today's video we're going to be doing a celebrity curls the luscious look if you want to know how i made these beautiful curls go grab your hair curler and let's get started so guys i'm going to be showing you the products that i'm using today so the first product that i'm going to be using is the silhouette i've got the silhouette squartz golf hairspray also got some dry shampoo. I did wash my hair last night, so I might not be needing to use it. If you do need a dry shampoo, like this is the go. It's the NAC hair. You can pick it up from any hairdressers. So I don't feel like I'll be needing to use it in this tutorial. But I always find this is good, you know, if you haven't washed your hair for maybe two or three days. I find it just lifts your hair. So I've got my hair brush, which just a cheap one from Kmart. Um, you'll be needing a hair clip. So I'm just using this one, quite cute, just to hold the hair back while I'm curling. I also will be using my Jose Ebear hair straightener and the Josie Ebear hair curler. This is like my favorite hair curler that I've ever used. They do recommend for longer hair to use a thicker barrel and for shorter hair a thinner barrel, but for my curls, I like to use a thin barrel. So now that we have everything, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my hair out. We're going to brush. If you guys see me looking down, I have a mirror in front of me. The first thing I like to do is part my hair into sections. As you can free see from the back, clipped in. First thing I'm going to do is part my hair. So I'll grab about this much here. Grab my curling iron. So I like to start from the top and run my way around. I hold it in place for about 15 to 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds depending on how much hair I grab. And just like that. Then I grab the next lot of hair, same thing again. And hold it anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds. trickier doing it on your opposite side. Try not to burn yourself. I have done this plenty of times. Once I've curled the bottom of my hair, I will spray my hair before I go on to the next section. I always find it's good to spray as you go because I feel like the curls that are underneath always don't really get the hold of the hairspray. So if you do it in sections, it has a better hold. So that's what it's looking like for now. Go to the next layer. So I have quite long hair, so I always find curling isn't too bad because my hair is a lot thinner. I feel like if you have thicker hair, I would definitely curl my hair in smaller sections.
So I always find one side is always thicker than the other. Recently, um, during quarantine, I cut a fringe. So it was always my left side that was a lot thicker, but since my parting is in the middle, I'm finding this side of my hair is a lot thicker, so I might still need to section this off just to do it, because it's still quite thick. So I will part it about there. I think everyone has one side that's a little bit thicker than the other. I'm quite lucky, my hair doesn't take too long to curl. So once we've done all the curls through the hair, I like to go through with my hair straightener just to like tidy up the sides. I find it easier with a flat iron. Grab little sections and just curl. You can still use the hair curler. I just find using hair straightener a little bit easier for me. I will show you how the dry shampoo works. So I like just to give it a good shake. I like to use it around any bits that are looking a little bit oily or dirty. Because my hair's clean because I washed it last night, it might not have the same effect. So let's just give it a try. So once I've applied the dry shampoo, it does say to wait one to two minutes for it to let it sit into your hair. So I'm just gonna let it sit and we'll be right back. As you guys can see, it's probably like made my hair really white, but we will be grabbing our fingers and running it through and just giving it some oomph. I feel like this dry shampoo is really good for blondes, but as you can see, it's made my hair brighter. So we're not finished yet, so now that I've done all the curls, hairspray, dry shampoo, now this is my little snooky trick. I just find this helps soften the curls a wee bit and just blend them in. There was a little bit that I forgot to show you. So what I'm going to do is grab the little bits at the top. If you want a bit more volume up the top, grab your hair curler. See how that's just like giving it a bit more oomph. Obviously we're going to hairspray it and run our fingers through it and do the hair flip. Do you see the difference? This side to that side. Just like that. This is my Princess Maisie. Say hi to the camera beautiful. Also, I just like to run my fingers through my hair. I just find this helps to give it a bit more of a softer look. Guys, this is how I do my curls. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please leave a comment if there's any other future content that you'd like to see. Till next time, my lovelies. Bye. Bloody hell, man. Oh, no, I need to take a photo. We are not finished. We need a photo. Oh, shit, am I still recording?